Hi, friends. Welcome to You Can Learn Now, where it's fun to learn and you'll love to learn. Well, today we're having story time. Our story today is called The Three Bears. This is another fairy tale, a make believe story told over and over again from long ago. Well, this story is about a little girl named Goldilocks and a family of bears. Goldilocks does a lot of snooping in the bear's house. While I'm reading, pay attention to the number three and see if you can count three things in this story. Well, let's get started. The Three Bears by Paul Galdone. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived together in a house of their own in the woods. One of them was a little wee bear. One was a middle-sized bear. And the other was a great big bear. They each had a bowl for their porridge. The little wee bear had a little wee bowl. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized bowl. And the great big bear had a great big bowl. They each had a chair to sit in. The little wee bear had a little wee chair. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized chair. And the great big bear had a great big chair. They each had a bed to sleep in. The little wee bear had a little wee bed. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized bed. And the great big bear had a great big bed. One morning, the three bears made porridge for breakfast and poured it into their bowls, but it was too hot to eat. So they decided to go for a walk in the woods until it cooled. While the three bears were walking, A little girl named Goldilocks came to their house. First, she looked in at the window. And then she peeked through the keyhole. Of course there was nobody inside. Goldilocks turned the handle of the door. The door was not locked because the three bears were trusting bears. They did no one any harm and never thought anyone would harm them. So Goldilocks opened the door and went right in. There was the porridge on the table. It smelled very, very good. Goldilocks didn't stop to think whose porridge it was. She went straight to it. First, she tasted the porridge of the great big bear, but it was too hot. Then she tasted the porridge of the middle-sized bear, but it was too cold. Then she tasted the porridge of the little wee bear. It was neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she ate it all up. Then Goldilocks went into the parlor to see what else she could find. There were the three chairs. First she sat down in the chair of the great big bear, but it was too hard. 
Then she sat down in the chair of the middle-sized bear, but it was too soft. Then she sat down in the chair of the little wee bear. It was neither too hard nor too soft, but just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she rocked and rocked until the bottom of the chair fell out. Down she went, plump, onto the floor. Goldilocks went into the bedroom where the three bears slept. First, she lay down upon the bed of the great big bear, but it was too high at the head for her. Then she lay down upon the bed of the middle-sized bear, but it was too high at the foot for her. Then she lay down upon the bed of the little wee bear. It was neither too high at the head nor too high at the foot, but just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she covered herself up and fell fast asleep. By this time, the three bears thought their porridge would be cool enough, so they came home for breakfast. Goldilocks had left the spoon of the great big bear in his porridge bowl. He noticed it first thing. Somebody's been tasting my porridge, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had left the spoon of the middle-sized bear in her porridge bowl, too. Somebody's been tasting my porridge, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the little wee bear looked at his bowl. Somebody's been tasting my porridge and has eaten it all up, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. The three bears went into the parlor. Goldilocks had left the cushion crooked in the chair of the great big bear. He noticed it first thing. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had squashed down the cushion in the chair of the middle-sized bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the little wee bear looked at his chair. Somebody's been sitting in my chair and has sat right through it, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. The three bears went into the bedroom. Goldilocks had pulled the pillow of the great big bear out of place. He noticed it first thing. Somebody has been lying in my bed, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had pulled the blanket of the middle-sized bear out of place. Somebody has been lying in my bed, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the little wee bear looked at his bed. Somebody has been lying in my bed, and here she is, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. This woke Goldilocks up at once. There were the three bears, all staring at her. Goldilocks was so frightened that she tumbled out of bed and ran to the open window. Out she jumped, and she ran away as fast as she could, never looking behind her. No one knows what happened to Goldilocks after that. As for the three bears... They never saw her again. Oh, no! Goldilocks sure did look scared at the end of the story. I guess she won't be doing any snooping anymore, will she? Did you count three of something as I read the story? Like three bowls? Or three chairs? Or three beds? I hope you did. Well, 
I hope that you enjoyed the story, The Three Bears, here on You Can Learn Now. And I hope to see you again next time for more fun and learning. Bye bye This book has been artistically read with educational content. If you like this video, click the like and subscribe buttons below. And we can be friends!